Hello everyone, this is Anu Sethi and welcome back to another video by AMS Group of Institutes. Now today's video is part of a series called Accounting for Shares. So all those people who are new, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever we come up with another video. Now today's topic is Accounting for Share for Feature part number 4. So let's move forward with today's video. Before we move forward with the accounting for part number 4, we will do a quick recap. What is share forfeiture? It is confiscating the shares of those defaulting parties who have not paid us the amount. That is the calls or the allotment money. Now let's go towards the accounts involved. These are the share capital, the unpaid calls and the share forfeiture account. Let's move towards the method. Now since this is part 4, we will be using the method in which the company does not use the call in arrears account. So let's move forward with the example. AMS Limited issued 1 lakh shares of rupees 10 each. Then we have been given the installments, which is on application rupees 3, on allotment rupees 2, on the first call rupees 3, and on the second and final call rupees 2 again. Plus, we have some extra information which is given to us. Mr. A having 10,000 shares failed to pay the allotment money and hence his shares were forfeited after the first call. Now mind you it is not being forfeited after the final call, it is being forfeited right after the first call. So before we move towards the accounting, let's put the marks, that is the default marks. The default was in share allotment and the first call. So a hashtag in share allotment and a hashtag in the first call. Now if you guys want, you can use any other mark. So let's move forward with the accounting. Now firstly, we will receive the applications. Now whenever you're receiving the applications, the entry will be bank account debit to share application. Now due to lack of space, I will be using abbreviations, but you in your exams, please write the full sentence or the full words. So first entry, bank account debit to share application. We are receiving the applications. The amount will be one lakh shares, multiplied by 3 rupees, that is 3 lakh rupees. So bank debited by 3 lakhs and the application credited by 3 lakh rupees. Now since there is no pro rata allotment, there is no default, there is no extra money which we have to adjust, we will fully capitalize the application money, which is 3 lakh rupees. So the entry will be share application account debit to share capital full 3 lakh rupees. So 3 lakhs debited in the application and 3 lakhs credited in the share capital. Next we will move towards the share allotment. Now a word of caution, there was a default in the allotment money. But from the allotment our trend starts. That is firstly we will capitalize the allotment money and then you will do the payment entry. So first with the capitalization entry. The entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital and the amount will be 1 lakh shares multiplied by the amount called that is 2 rupees. So the overall amount is 2 lakh rupees. So share allotment debited by 2 lakh rupees and the share capital credited by again 2 lakh rupees. Now since there is a default and we are not using call in arrears, we will only pass the journal entry for receipt of the balance amount. Now what will be the balance amount? Let's do the calculations. The amount received will be the called up amount minus the default. Now what was the called up amount? It was 2 lakh shares. Sorry, 2 lakh rupees. 2 lakh rupees. Now we will deduct the default. Now what is the default? It is 10,000 shares multiplied by 2 rupees. So it comes out to 20,000 rupees. So 20,000 is the default. So we will receive only the balance amount that is 1 lakh 80 thousand rupees in the allotment entry. So bank account debited by 1 lakh 80 thousand and the share allotment credited by again 
one lakh eighty thousand rupees. Next, we will move towards the first call. Now, following the train, firstly we will capitalize the first call and then pass the entry for receiving the money. So, the capitalization entry will be first call account debit to share capital. The amount will be one lakh shares multiplied by three rupees. So, this is three lakh rupees. First call debited by three lakh rupees. And the share capital credited by again 3 lakh rupees. Now there is a default in this as well and we are not using the call in arrears account. So we will pass the journal entry for only receipt of the balance amount. Now what is the balance amount? Let's calculate. It will be the called up amount minus the default amount. The called up amount was 3 lakh rupees. So we have called up 3 lakhs and we will deduct the default. Now what was the default amount? It is 10,000 shares multiplied by the first call which is 3 rupees so it comes out to 30,000 rupees so 30,000 is the default so you will receive in your bank account rupees 2,70,000 only so when you are doing the payment entry the entry will be bank account debited to the first call for 2,70,000 rupees bank account debited by 2,70,000 to the first call credited by 2,70,000 rupees now we have to do the forfeiture entry because in the question it is given that you will forfeit the shares right after the first call so let's go towards the entry now before we go towards the entry what are the accounts involved the share capital the share for feature and the unpaid calls now in this we are not using the call in arrears account so we will have to individually write all those entries in which there was a default which is the share allotment and the first call firstly share capital will be debited why because whenever you're capitalizing it was credited so when we are reversing it will be debited now all the calls were firstly debited whenever we capitalize them so when we are reversing them they will be credited and the balance that is the share for feature and what is that it is the profit which the company earns when they have forfeited the shares so this profit will have a credit balance so let's move towards the amount firstly the share capital as you can see the formula behind on my screen it is the number of shares which are being forfeited multiplied the overall called up amount what were the shares number of shares these were 10,000 now what is the called up amount now we have forfeited the shares right after the first call so we have capitalized all the amounts till the first call that comes out to 8 rupees 3 rupees in the application, 2 rupees in the allotment and again 3 rupees in the first call that is 8 rupees. So multiplied by rupees 8. So share capital will be debited by 80,000 rupees. Share capital debited by 80,000 rupees. Now we do not need to calculate these amounts that is the allotment and the first call. We have already done so in the previous entry. As you can see above me, the amount of default in the first call is 30,000 rupees. So we can credit the first call with 30,000 rupees. Next, we will move to the amount which there was a default in the allotment that is 20,000 rupees. We have already calculated this. So the allotment will be credited by 20,000 rupees. So this total comes out to 50,000 rupees. So there will be a profit of the balance amount that is 30,000 rupees which will be credited in the share for feature account. So this is how you will pass the for feature entry. Now mind you, the question is not over yet. The second and final call is still left. So we will have to pass the journal entries for the balance number of shares. Now we have forfeited 10,000 shares. We had issued 1 lakh shares. So the remaining shares are 90,000. So the second and final call will be done for the entries of 90,000 shares and not 1 lakh shares. So firstly, we will capitalize the second and final call. Entry will be the second and final call account debit to the share capital 90,000 rupees multiplied by 2 which is 1 lakh 80,000 rupees. So 1 lakh 80,000 debited in the second and final call and 1 lakh 80,000 credited in the share capital. Now mind you, there is no default in this because the defaulting shares have already been forfeited. So we will receive the full amount of 1,80,000 rupees. 
bank account debited by 1 lakh 80000 and the second and final call credited by 1 lakh 80000 rupees so this is how you will account for share for feature using the fourth method that is the shares were forfeited before the final call and the company is not using call in arya's account so this is it for today's video if you found this video to be useful then please give it a thumbs up and share this link with the fellow peers and students if you want us to make another video on any other topic then please use the comment section below please like share subscribe to the channel we have also started online classes for commerce science and mba subjects so all those people who are interested can get in touch with us by emailing us at AMS group of institutes at the rate gmail.com. There are no spaces. And as always, happy learning.